A while ago, I took a photo of someone at an art opening, a friend of mine, and she was uh, holding some flowers that somebody had given her. I loved the photo and thought it would be really fun to paint. I started by making a sketch on the paper, and I decided that I wanted to do a large canvas. So this is a 36 by 30. And then I invented the rest of the composition with things that I like. When the canvas was white, and I like to leave it white, I don't like to do uh, an underpainting because I just like the lightness coming through. My voice told me what to do. I, I didn't really have any pre-thought. I just looked at it and it said it wanted to do orange. I, what I do is the largest shape first for the most part. Everything that you've ever experienced in your life, it's all inside and that's what you bring to the work. Now that I've chosen purple for the cat, right away I know that the table's got to be green. I kind of use mostly the same colors in every painting. I don't really go for subtleties, just the, the immediate energy of it, which inspires me, which I really enjoy. I like to do unexpected colors. I really have fun doing that, like a purple cat and a lady with blue hair. Often I like to make two different color eyes, usually two different colored legs or arms or something just because I don't want to make them the same. I like to outline things. I usually do it in black. It's another way to make things pop in my work. When I work, I am very intent on what I'm doing, and so I usually don't need any kind of extra stimulation like music. I just really am fine with silence. I have all these jars that I like to have designated for certain colors. Kind of like when I was a kid and I used to use Crayola crayons and I used to get the big box and I used to love all the colors and I put them back where they go. And even though I like to have a lot of freedom in my canvas and the way I apply the paint, I also like to be very organized in the way I put my paints out and I always know where it is when I'm looking for a color. The energy from you that comes from inside and goes out the end of the brush, it is, um, it's not about technique, it's just about how you feel. You know, and the shapes, colors and everything, they come from inside of you. From the things that you've seen and things you've observed and you've actually noticed and they, they're all inside. And then when you make images, that's your vocabulary. And what could be wrong about that? There's no right or wrong. It's just what is in you of life and makes an impression.